from me. Good morning guys, it's the start of a new week and I am getting ready to head to, um, I'm getting ready to head to the Daily Pilates today to do some working out. This week is going to be kind of like a low week as though, um, well not a low week, <laughs> well today is going to be like a low day but I am going to be going to a technical conference this week so i'll take y'all on a little bit let y'all see what i'm doing you know what i mean but um i'm just trying to right now just get my cup so i can get my pre-workout in here and just get ready for the day so yeah and then I'm trying to rush and then I'm trying to rush out the house at the same damn time. <laughs> yeah, rush out the house at the same damn time. So this is my pre-workout right here, and I've already put a scoop in there. And then this is my BCCA or BCAA. But anyways, let me focus on getting ready and I'll check in with y'all later. I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt. You don't believe his stories. You know that there are lines. Bad as you are, you stick around and I just don't know. Oh, 
Mythique, c'est ma star. I just went to Scott House today and oh sure I need to work on my cardio. So we did 25 minutes of hit um of hit Pilates and then we did 25 minutes of hit cardio. So when I tell y'all that it is a burner class, it is a burner class. So if you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area, make sure you check it out. And now I'm actually about to look up to see if Trader Joe's is open since I'm already over here. Um, I have the day. Oh, y'all, let me get in my car. Yeah. All right. So I need to check to see if what time trader joe's open since i'm already over here it is about almost eight o'clock over here so i don't know if trader joe's open that early i know Publix be open but sometimes they don't open till like 10 i think so y'all 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 <laughs> like uh, Ooh, the recovery is real, y'all. Alright, guys. So, I decided that I'm going to head to Starbucks to waste some time before I go to Trader Joe's. I'm already out here, so I might as well. Over here, like, filming around with my camera. Why did you do that? I was seeing you trying to come out here. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna head to Starbucks and get me something to waste time before I go to Trader Joe's and pick up a couple of things. I'm finally back from Trader Joe's and then on my way I went and got my car washed, I vacuumed it out, wiped it down. It was due for some <laughs> cleaning. I had like crumbs, dog hair everywhere, his treats, crumbs everywhere. So I gave it a good wipe down. So I want to show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. All right, so I got some organic rice cauliflower. I miss frozen you keep in the freezer. I need to kind of like defrost it a little bit while I was trying to wash my car. But I have some salami. I don't know what it is, but I've been on this wave of eating salami. I have tzatziki sauce. I'm going to be making... Um, Greek chicken wraps. So I got some feta cheese as well. I got some roasted garlic hummus to eat with those pita chips I have. I have some hash browns for breakfast. I bought some sweet potato fries because one of these days I'm going to do some um, wings. 
I have some spinach. Now for the spinach, I want to make me like an egg sandwich. So I got the spinach for that, like kind of like something similar to like the Panera egg white sandwich. So that's why I got the spinach. Of course, I had to run it back with the barbecue teriyaki chicken. So this is what I'm going to, I'm going to do the rice cauliflower um, with this chicken because I'm trying to like cut back. I don't eat a lot of vegetables. So I'm trying to cut it back on eating a lot of rice and potatoes. Um, also, I am going to be making turkey breast um, and ham sandwiches. And that'll probably be like next week. Then, of course, I had to run this back. Yes, these are bombs. So I got two boxes this time. And then I saw this and I'm like, hmm, I want to try this. So I've never tried this before, so I got this. So I'm going to put this up and then I'll show y'all what's in bed too. Okay, this is part two of the grocery haul. I got two aroma tomatoes. I got a red onion. I have some bacon. I got some sriracha and roasted garlic barbecue sauce. So I'm going to put these on my wings, y'all. I can't wait to try this. And then I don't know where I'm gonna use this on, but um, I also watch Kyra vlogs and I saw that she used some spicy honey sauce, so I was like, hmm, why not? It sounds interesting. I also got some banana chocolate chip muffins, I have some whole wheat tortillas. This is what I'm gonna put my chicken wraps on. I got some rolls. This is what I'm actually gonna make me an egg sandwich today for. Let's see, it's 11 o'clock, so it'll be a late a late breakfast, early lunch, so basically brunch. So I got that, and I got two packs, so I don't know if these freeze good, but we're going to see. I'm going to put the other pack in the freezer. And then, of course, I got some more eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and... So I'm going to go ahead and put these groceries up. Then I am going to go shower and then I will check back in with y'all when I get ready to make my sandwich. Trying to get hit, bring a whole wet. Give that diamonds on my neck and on my wrist. Niggas ain't bullshit. Walk through the club with an F and N in this bitch. Treat it like Ray J. How? She wanna to talk to the kid, make one wish. I'ma get fried rice, shrooms and syrup. I'm trying to get high tonight. Serving them pies right. Diamonds start dancing as soon as they hitting the light. Jesus, peace, Christ. Christ. What your geek like? Geek. Do you like Miley Cyrus? Miley. Or you like Virgil White? I'm on yeah. the blue, blues. Talking all blues. Beat it up black and blue. My dog got dog food. If we can't win, nigga, we gon' all lose. Throw the ring your best friend. I'ma fuck on y'all too. He want the scoop, she want the tea. She want the tea. I cannot speak. We keepin' it street. We keepin' it street. I took a loss, but you still gon' get beat. It's too much. How much it cost? It never been cheap. all right hey guys so i am getting ready to head to the spaceman rooftop and i thought i might bring in my camera but i think i'm gonna leave it and just block off my cell phone um just because i'm bringing a small bag i don't want to have to try to stuff it in here so i'm just currently walking the dog trying to make sure that he goes to the bathroom i don't know if you guys can see my fit but 
Here it is. I'm wearing my hair slick back today. And ah, 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 ah. did you poop or pee? Okay, you pee. Okay, come on. Oops, I had to make sure. See what uh, the, the little doggy dog was doing. But yeah, I will check in with y'all once I get to the spaceman. Let me know with my social group. If you are in the Atlanta area, check out Atlanta Social Crew. And we plan events. We hang out just about every week. So if you're looking for some friends, looking for someone to do something with, definitely check out Atlanta Social Crew. We are on Facebook and we are on Instagram as well. But we're more active on Facebook. That's where the events are. That's where it's planned. So yeah, but I am going to go ahead and get ready to go and I will tap in with y'all later. And it was a vibe. It was a, definitely a movie. It was thick too. But I feel like they kind of like bamboozled me with this $20 I had to pay to get in. Like, wait. I ain't paid to get in the door nowhere. So they're going to have to fix this because I don't do cover charges. I don't pay for that. But otherwise, the DJ was good. The vibes was good. The drinks was good. And now I'm about to stuff my face and eat my leftover pasta, y'all. Because your girl is, is hungry. I had a day full of errands. I only ate one thing today. No, two things today. Three things today. Yeah, three things today. And I'm hungry. So, I'll tap in with y'all tomorrow. I'm going to try to get up. I'm going to go work out. And then I want to try to attend some of these conferences. Child and body type. So it probably ain't going to be long before I be in the bed. But I'll tap in with y'all tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is big day for me. I am so excited. I think that's probably why like, I couldn't sleep. So I was up like early today. I was supposed to like sleep in a little bit. And I've been supposed to go to this tech conference all week and stuff. But child, I made it to a couple of events like here and there um, throughout the day. But your girl been tired. But I am super excited for B-Day. I am waiting for my niece to get up here. This is going to be her first concert. And y'all, I've been like on um, Mercedes Benz, like site or whatever, looking at the prohibited items. Like I wanted to, I want to bring my vlog camera. And it says that cameras, you can bring cameras. They can be digital cameras. They can have like the attachment or not attachment. Right? Has to be less than like the six inches. Okay, my camera meets it. However, where they confuse me at is where they say video cameras and video recording is not permitted. But, I mean, it's 2023, so every digital camera that you have, I mean, they, they can't record on them unless you're talking about that. But I don't even think, why would you even want to bring those, like those little, um, you know, little quick ca cameras because like, I don't know, but every camera today, like even like a little small digital camera. I have a camera from like that I bought back in, I want to say like 2008 and it it records and it's a small, like compact, like digital camera. And my thing is, how do you know, like what camera like records or not? Like just by looking, I don't know, but 
so that's my dilemma is I really want to bring my vlogging camera, but I really don't want no smoke about bringing the camera. So I'm not really like 100% sure I'm going to bring my camera and I might just vlog off my phone, which if I do, I really need to clean up my phone and delete a whole bunch of stuff. So I can record because I'm literally probably going to be recording like the whole concert <laughs> because it's Beyonce, okay? I bought the Tail Fair Melissa Jelly and at first I was thinking that this wasn't like PVC. I don't know why. I don't know what I think PVC looked like. But baby, I went on the site and I saw the materials and it said 100% PVC. So this bag right here is coming with me to be on site. I cannot wait. It's spacious too and it's cute. And if you want to like see like the ins and outs like of this bag or see what I can put in the bag, I do have a video that I made that basically gives like my review of the bag and I'll have it pop up on here. Um, so you guys can like click it and I'll also like put the link to the video in the description box. But I am about to get dressed. Um, well basically just shower, brush my teeth, get dressed a little bit, like just throw on like some lounge clothes, whatever. Um, uh, I'm gonna clean up my room. I'm gonna do like a little bit of laundry. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some laundry and stuff. And just kind of like give my house like a little reset, refresh. Um, because I do have to go to the doctor office. I started to reschedule my appointment, but... It takes like six years to like get an appointment and I was just like, I'm off already. Like I don't have to go do the ups and downs of trying to get off of work. And then I know if I reschedule, it's going to be for some day and time that I just really just don't want to do. So I was just like, I might as well just go ahead and go. And it's at 3.30. So literally like hopefully they don't take all day because... It's like downtown, and downtown is going to be a madhouse because of Beyonce concert. You know what? I should have just called them and seen if they had a morning appointment. I should have did it. All right, guys. I'm about to come in here and try on my outfits. And excuse the room because I ain't had time. No. But I'm going to go ahead and try on these clothes and see which one I am going to do. I don't know the shirt is going to be... Beyonce shirt so this is shirt I'm gonna do and then I just gotta figure out my bottom situation all right fam what y'all think the final product this is what I decided to wear a mixture of the two outfits that I had planned and I mixed the two bottoms together and yeah and I'll show y'all what I what my makeup looked like at first I didn't think I was gonna like these glasses but baby when hair is done and then y'all can see my makeup so this is my maybe let me just go in the bathroom and y'all can see the makeup but yeah this is the makeup and then i got my little blockers okay baby mm-hmm yeah what y'all think all right say all right so basically all right, so basically I'm gonna vlog from my phone because I don't wanna bring my camera in because I'm not 100% that I can bring it. But so y'all gonna get the, the phone. And then I'm gonna go and take some pictures real quick. And then we gonna head to the stadium because I wanna get in line because I want some merch. And I know the line's gonna be long. Oh, excuse me, yeah. I know the line's gonna be long. So her last concert I went to, I didn't get any merch. So I definitely want to get merch this time. So I will be getting me some merch. So I'll check in with y'all at the bills. Y'all ready? I'm ready for me. I'm ready for you, girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Turn it on me, girl. All right, what y'all think? This is the final look. All right, I have my clear tampar bag. I drug these shoes up out the closet. I was like, oh, I thought about these at the last second. Got my Beyonce shirt. 
my two-in-one, my hair blockers, my bling bling. All right, so we are ready. Look at Maya. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel of you. For my early birthday present. Okay, you excited to see Beyonce? Yes. You are? Which, yes. What song you want to um, see her perform the most? Um, I would say, I would say, um, hmm, Heat It. Okay, this is the niche y'all made that box for. If y'all ain't seen that how I made it, check it out. I'll link it in the description box. And this is my mom, y'all. We dragging her to see Beyonce. She even got her bling bling on, y'all. Check her out, check her out, check her out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> y'all, she acting shame, y'all. She acting shame, y'all. But, all right, we about to get out of here because it is time it is. Since when I'm going to be vlogging too, so. Okay, y'all. Uh uh, yeah, they can't, adults can't subscribe to no kids' channel, but tell your kids, y'all, to subscribe to her channel. But yeah, so we about to get on here and get on. we supposed to uh, leave at 6 o'clock, and it's 6 27. Concert started at 8, and we ain't getting live for some merch. So I'll check in with y'all later. All right, guys, so finally May 10th, we're walking. Let's try to head to the Mercedes Benz Stadium. I don't know where we going, but we doing this thing. We'll be following folks. And we all going to the same place, so we going to see. Ooh, that was a little hole right there. Ma, come on. I know. I stepped in. I stepped in it, too. Uh-huh. Oh, what? Y'all got room for three people? Oh, y'all going this way, too? Yeah. Oh. Everybody is slammed for Bay. Oh, what entrance this is? Oh, floor seats. Oh, this is it right here. Oh, the sun came out here. At first, I thought it was gonna be um rainy, but we're trying to find out where we're supposed to go in. And oh my god, it's like hella people out here.
guys so i am home from beyonce concert oh my god it was lit it was really a movie but yeah um beyonce did not give us a uh, opening act so basically i wanted to leave the house at six o'clock today but of course we didn't end up leaving until like 6 30 6 45 so then we had to go park so it was like by seven o'clock, we had got into the stadium or whatever. Then, child, what we, well, then we stopped, took some pictures, you know, then stood in line to get in. Then we was gonna go to this one spot for merch, but it was a long, long line. So we was like, all right, well, we just go to our seat. And then what I can do is when we come back, when she starts, I'll run out and go get some merch or whatever. Because while everybody enjoying the concert, nobody in life merch or whatever. I just would have just left on a song that I didn't really care to, to miss and then just go get the merch. But we ended up, they, were, they ended up with selling um, merch on our level or whatever, on 200 level. And literally it was a small line and it was going by like that. So we got merch. Then I was like, oh, my mom was like, oh, they're going to popcorn because you know I got to get some popcorn. So I got some popcorn. And then we sat down. It was, I want to say about 8 something, like by 8.15 by the time we went out of seat. So we waited for about like 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour-ish, a little less than an hour, or whatever. It didn't seem long. What? Why you looked at me like that? Like, Oh. Well, she had an opener for her on the last concert that she had was on the run too with Jay Z, and she had an opener. She actually had two. She had Chloe and Holly and DJ Khaled. Where was our opener, Beyonce? Where? We had us waiting an hour for you. Where was our opener? I mean, we know you were a wide girl, but I wanted some a little bit of entertainment. No. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay, nothing. It was silence. Okay, you know, people was talking. That's it. And when nobody getting us crunk, nobody getting us hot. Because, you know, Beyonce don't do a DJ. She has live music. Because if he doesn't, all her shows. Yeah, I mean, you can tell, like, some of that stuff, like the. Da -da 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 like the little. Well, I mean for the show, first you do a lot of music, like, before the show. Yeah, I Queen said, we ain't need no DJ. She said, hell, Huh? I'm probably going to have to do it. But, yeah, I'm about to enjoy my night, y'all. I'm about to get me some hookah, and then I will check in with y'all. I might check in with y'all, depending on how I feel, because... I am going to take my extensions out and wear my real hair, and I have some issues with my hair, so I don't know. If, I don't know, child, if I'm gonna be on camera. I might be having a mental crisis tomorrow, but uh, I'll check in with you sometime. Hi. So yesterday I didn't really do much. I went over to my cousin's house for breakfast, and then I took out my extensions. Um, like for those who don't know, like I'm dealing with like I have an autoimmune disease. It affects my hair. So my hair is really thin, um, missing hair. And so like, I have been getting sew-ins for a very long time, but I want to try to make my hair like a little bit healthier because it's hard for me to like get to my scalp and moisturize my hair with my sew-ins. So like, I kind of had like a little moment yesterday because I didn't realize like, you know how much my hair 
wasn't there and so like it's just kind of like hard whatever but you know my mom's just like oh well you can wear wigs i have no like i don't know anything about a wig like i i can count on like one time like how many wigs i wore so i i don't know anything about wigs so right now i kind of like have like this little headband on i kind of like try to cover up some of my hair loss like i thought that i was going to be able to wear like i bought these clippings to like kind of wear my hair down but like I, my hair like i'm missing a lot of hair like up top so it's kind of like a struggle like the only thing that kind of like worked right now was like kind of like this clipping ponytail and so like um yeah, so that kind of worked for me right now, and I need to figure out, like, what I'm going to do. I just really just don't want to, like, I'm used to the sewings and stuff, but I really just don't want to get a sewing just because I feel like it's just adding more attention to my hair. My hair is already thin. I'm already having issues with my hair due to my condition. So I kind of want to find something a little bit healthier. So it's just probably most likely going to be you. Um, a wig just wear wigs um, a lot just so I can like keep my hair moisturized and condition more often and I can like take care of you know the hair that I have and then maybe you know it might thicken up I don't know because um, my goal was um, I wanted to get like a hair transplant like I've been kind of saving up money to do that but I, I probably am going to go to a doctor first and just kind of like, I want to get the skinny on like my hair. Is it even worth like the investment? Because I don't want to get like the hair um, transplant and then it's just, you know, my condition is just going to, you know, damage the hair follicle again and then it's just not going to grow. So I want to just see, but yeah that's just kind of like where i am right now like in my life it's just a different a new chapter and it's just you know dealing with my hair i don't know but hopefully oh no there's traffic oh they're working in the road before i stay there so yeah guys it's just you know, just, you know, just, you know, keep me in your thoughts and minds. If you guys have any hair tips, you know, I would just, you know, be grateful, you know, for whatever you have, whatever, you know, wigs you like. So, yeah, so that's going to be on my agenda next, just to kind of get some, um, some wigs just so I can wear them and start like kind of testing them out. My mom was telling me they made wigs that had like velcro and you can velcro them to the, the wig cap and stuff. So I'm just like, wow, wigs have definitely uh, evolved. So yeah, guys, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just in a funk <laughs> about my hair, but I'm headed to go get my lashes done. Um, today with my girl and then i might go to the movies later we talked about going to see like meg too but honestly y'all i've been like so tired lately i just haven't really been wanting to go anywhere and like now my hair situation of me trying to get my hair healthy i just i don't really want to go anything anywhere and i'm just glad that i i work remote so I don't have to like, I feel like I would be super stressed if I had to go into an office and like my hair. So, yeah. But it's definitely going to be an adjustment for sure. It's just going to be something. But yeah, I'm heading to get my lashes done. And then I have to, I was supposed to go by Dick's the other day. But, you know, I didn't make it since I didn't have to. I think last time I talked to you guys, I was had a doctor's appointment on friday and then when i called to see if i could come earlier it was like oh well we have been trying to get in contact with you because we need to reschedule 
So it kind of worked out. So since I had to reschedule and then I was going to Beyonce concert anyway, I just kind of was just like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I was supposed to go to Dick's, but I'm going to go go to Dick's since I'm already out and about now getting my lashes done. When I leave from getting my lashes done, I'm going to go to Dick's and go get my cup. And then... I might stop by Trader Joe's. I don't know. Um, I just need to figure out what I'm, what my meals are going to be for the week. I know I got some chicken, so I know I'm gonna do some chicken. And then I bought that sauce the uh, the other day. And then I got this mushroom truffle pizza from Trader Joe's. Actually, I don't need to go to Trader Joe's. I, well, I kind of want to go get the lemonade because I forgot to get the lemonade, so I can make my uh, matcha. Uh, my matcha lemonades at home and yeah i'll probably go by because i need to get two of those things because when i tell y'all i went through that joke like so fast so, uh well it's not a joke it's like a thing but you know what i'm saying and i got the strawberry lemonade but i wasn't really a fan of the strawberry lemonade like it just didn't i don't know it just didn't do it for me so i think i am gonna stop by trader joe so i can get two things of lemonade but yeah well focus on driving and I'll tap back in with y'all in a little bit all right guys so I just came back from getting my lashes done what do you think yeah I look like a whole new person so yeah I gotta keep my lashes done at least like my lashes will be done I you know outside of my hair crisis but I am about to go to Starbucks. I need I need a refresher. Like I'm thirsty. I need some caffeine. I didn't fell asleep during my last appointment and we got to talk towards the end. And then um I gotta go to Dick's Dick's and get my Stanley cup so I can start drinking a lot more waters up in here. So yeah, oh damn, Tarango City ready by the metal detector. They got the parking people. Oh yeah, they ready y'all. But um, yeah, my, my lashes, she always do a good job. I would drop her information, but it's, if you're on Instagram, it's at Smitten Minks. And I close my eyes so y'all can see. But yeah, she always have me feeling so good. I love my lashes. So yeah, well, checking it throughout the day. I need to call him once I see what he doing. I love him sleep, y'all. That man sleep a lot. He do. He sleep, sleep, and sleep. He he ought to be well a real rested person as much as he be sleeping up in here. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I got the cup. They just came and brought it to me. So, let me show y'all what it looked like before I head out of here. Whoop, and the camera failed. <laughs> I guess it don't want me to show y'all. Let me just put this right here. And let's just put this right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, let me just keep this on this plastic part. They came out quick. At first I was going to go inside and get it, but I was like, nah, I don't feel like going in because it probably going to take a long time. But I thought it was going to take a long time if I ordered it and wait here. But So here's a tumbler. I don't know if you guys can see it really good. See, so here's a tumbler. It's 40 ounce. Comes with a shot. So let's see, it's supposed to fit in my, um, it's called the, what is it? The Quench, Quench H2O Tumbler, the Stanley Cup. So we gonna see. And uh, so I was telling my lash tech about it and she was like, um, she was like, she got the Simple Modern, which is what I had saw on TikTok when I started researching this coat. So we gonna see if I like this one or not. Let's see if it fits in a. Cup hold a low. I don't know if it's gonna really fit up in here. Let me put it in the front. Let's see. Put this in the front. I don't know, y'all. Let's 
see. Oh, it's in here. Show y'all. It's in here. It got to be in the back window right here. It's my little Starbucks. Oh, yeah, it fit. And then I can drink some water out of here. Yeah, okay. So, I can stay on top of my water. So, I'm just going to toss this in my purse. So, yeah, I'm about to get ready and put my seatbelt on because I am going to head to Papado. This is one of my favorite places in Atlanta. I know people like to talk, like to talk about Papado, but I like Papado. And I wanted song yesterday. It's been a little minute since I had Papado, so I was like, you know what? I'm about to go to Papado. It's about to be a Papado Sunday. And a good thing, too, about it being a Papado Sunday is I for sure have some leftovers tomorrow or whatever so i ain't got to worry about cooking and then i did go to trader joe's but i ain't show y'all that because i was really just in and out um of trader joe's oh exit peach tree road okay go this way well yeah i was literally like in and out of trader joe's i just pretty much picked up some lemonade i got some salami i don't know what it is but i've been on my salami kit got my salami and then i also got you can go just think about the south we, we will you can go each other life like it ain't nothing oh, yeah. all right it's here but yeah, so I did get some lemonade from Trader Joe's and then I got some salami because I've been on this salami kick. And then I got some cheese to go on my hand sandwiches. And then I got some chicken legs because I might make some chicken legs either this week or next week. So yeah, so I did good. So I only spent like $23 this week at the grocery store. So I'm trying to do a goal of... When I go to the grocery store, I'm trying to get on a budget. I really and I, I really want to stick to spending $25, but I know that's not really that realistic. So my goal is gonna be actually that is realistic because $25 a week. So basically, I'm trying to do like $50, spend $50 like every other week or yeah so basically essentially that's 25 dollars a week that's what i'm trying to do spend only spend 25 dollars a week and this week let's see i went to trader joe's last week and i spent 90 dollars i want to say um wednesday so today i went and i only spent 23 dollars and then i'm gonna treat myself to papa those and then i'm not gonna order out for the rest of the week but so this week I'll be doing I'll figure out what I'm gonna do but I got some stuff in the house where I don't have to eat out and I got smoothies and all that stuff so I'll be set for a little bit anyway and then too it's just healthy it's just me transitioning back to like eating cleaner or whatever because I kind of like since I moved to Atlanta I kind of like fell off real bad so I'm trying to get back on um, doing clean stuff I'm cutting back on eating out I'm cutting back on drinking alcohol so maybe my goal is um at the end of the year i'll start the new year looking fabulous but yeah yeah well let me check let me check in with y'all later before this camera battery died because i'm at one bar and i don't think i brought my extra batteries with me today 